how's it going, y'all? I know it's been a minute since I have uh, been recording. Sorry, y'all. I just started school, so, you know, work between work, school, and having a dog and all that, you know, uh, life gets a little busy. So, we're just going to go ahead, quick fire this thing. Uh, I'm going to talk about all the boxing news that's been going on lately within the past week, and, week or so. So, uh, we'll start off with the biggest one. Um, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. Uh, that one is rumored, or not rumored, I'm sorry. That one's confirmed for to be in Saudi Arabia. Uh, March 8th is when they're uh, planning on fighting. Now, a uh, quick little prediction for it. Um, I'm going to go against the grain because uh, it seems like everybody's picking Ngannou after his Fury performance. But um, I'm sorry. I, I, Anthony Joshua's got this one. It's pretty easy to... It's For those that, you know... Uh, don't watch boxing. I, you know, I, I know it's easy to see maybe that that Ngannou, Ngannou's got a big chance. You know, he does have a big chance, but now there's tape on him. Now you can study for him, and if he thinks that he's gonna fight the same fight that he fought against Fury, I just don't see him winning that fight. So, um, although he does have a good chance, Anthony Joshua wins uh, by decision. Uh, the next fight uh, I'm gonna that got announced was uh, which. This one came out of left field. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect this one to happen either. They haven't announced the date yet, but it's rumored to be after the Pacquiao versus uh, Bukwau Bonchamek fight in April. Um, but Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather, uh, the second fight. Um, yeah, that fight. The, the announcement was pretty boo-boo. I'm not going to lie. But, hey, you know, they're both old. I mean, Pacquiao has a better chance now. They're older. Um, but let's be honest. It's, it's not that big of news. Um, it was big. That fight should have happened 20 freaking years ago when they were both in their prime. That, the first fight happened too late. So, um, yeah. The next fight we're going to talk about, uh, Jake Paul kind of you know drop the news on this and then deleted it but uh the rumor i guess is that uh nate diaz versus jorge masvidal in a boxing match uh that's that they've already fought in the ufc once now i guess the second fight is going to be in a boxing match um looks like it hasn't yet fully been announced but it looks to be rumored for march um I, I think it's nothing's going to be different about this fight. Jorge Masvidal wins. Although, you know, I give Nate a little bit more of a chance because it's boxing glove. but and he, and he does have one fight more than Masvidal. But, uh, yeah, no, Masvidal wins. Um, and then the last fight that announced um, is Inoue versus Luis Neri. Um, I mean, at this point, is there any reason not to pick Inoue? Like, near, I mean, come on. Neri ain't got it. Sorry. Inoue wins by knockout again. So, yeah. They both uh, agreed to the fight and that it's rumored to be in uh, May uh, in Tokyo. So, it's for all those that want to see Inoue fight in America, it ain't happening. Um, he's fighting in Tokyo. I don't think that fight is gonna have, like, I don't think he know he's gonna fight in America unless he absolutely has to, and unless the, the fighter he's fighting has the pool to be able to bring that fight to the U.S. So, for those who want to say that he's not that good because he hasn't fought outside of the U.S., I mean, come on, come on, you sound like a casual. To be honest, you probably are a casual if you're talking like that. So, yeah, Inoue is that dude. And by the way, he is the top rank Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year. And in my eyes, he is the Fighter of the Year overall. Now, don't get me wrong, Terrence Crawford is a close second because, I mean, becoming the way he beat Errol Spence, I had Errol Spence winning the fight. To be honest, I, I really did have Errol Spence winning the fight. I didn't think that Crawford would have had the sauce. I was wrong. I sounded like a casual. But the way he beat Spence, that was the wow, one of the best performances I've seen by a boxer ever. But he only fought once. And it was, yeah, it was for the undisputed title. But, like, it was one fight. Like, you know, it was active. He fought three times in 2023. Two time, uh, all three for for belts became undisputed in two weight divisions in two years. Come on, man! Nah, he's fighter of the years. It's not even. It's not even a given. I get. I get. 
Americans love the American fighter, and, and Terrence Crawford is a big name, and you know, is up up there fighting for that number one pound for pound spot. But come on, man, like it's it's obvious it's Inoue. It's Inoue. Bo I think boxers would even say it's Inoue, but you know who am I? Um, but yeah, that's all. The, that's all the boxing news. Uh, that I have for today. I'm also going to be dropping a video on the Ortiz Lawson fight because that 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 whole car was pretty pretty dope, and the way the 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 main event ended was was crazy. I don't I don't understand what that ref was thinking. But more in the next video. Um, so if you if you love the videos, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the uh, next video.